Hello there and welcome to Elite Weather. My name is Mr. G. I am your meteorologist today. Thank you guys for joining me out there as we talk about the weather and some of the nasty things that's been going on, particularly dealing with the flooding through portions of Missouri and to Kentucky and Tennessee. We've also been seeing a lot of flooding through portions of Nevada, Arizona, and Southern California. So we've been seeing a lot of flood and through New Mexico. We don't want to forget New Mexico as well. They've been dealing with the flood with the flooding especially in the region where they saw that calf and hemet fire earlier in the year now that region is dealing with heavy rainfall from those southwestern monsoons so we are going to take a look at the weather today and talk about some of those things that are going on out there and what we're going to be seeing over the next three days now as far as our radar is concerned a lot of rain for some of you folks out there we're still trying to get more rain through the state of Texas here. And we have a few showers here along the Texas and Oklahoma border along the Red River right there. We're seeing some showers through north central Texas. So we are seeing a little bit of rainfall through portions of Oklahoma as well as along the Gulf Coast. As there is a little bit of a disturbance down there, maybe the tropics is gonna start to heat up over the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic here in the Caribbean. We might start to see an increase in activity. So we we are dealing with those showers and thunderstorms right along the Gulf Coast. We have some more showers here through the Appalachian Mountain Range, through portions of uh, Tennessee, through Georgia, as well as Alabama and South Carolina. We're dealing with some showers and thunderstorms and more showers and thunderstorms in the Piedmont area and into the Chesapeake Bay of Maryland there in Virginia. So we're dealing with some showers and thunderstorms and a few showers into the Northeast. So just south of Boston, we're dealing with a, a few showers out there. And then showers in the Ohio Valley. into coming into Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. A few spotty showers through the Midwest. We're talking through Indiana and Southern Illinois. We're picking up a few spotty showers. A couple of showers along the U.S.-Canadian border up there with Minnesota and North Dakota. So just north of Fargo and Moorhead, Minnesota. Some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. More showers through our four corners, New Mexico, Arizona. We got some showers and storms. Colorado, Utah, as well as into Nevada. A lot of rain here through this region of Nevada. California, we got some thunderstorms in the mountains and deserts down there. Some showers and storms coming through the Pacific Northwest as we're getting moisture from Tropical Storm Frank that's getting tapped into by this upper level trough here in the Pacific Northwest. It's finally starting to cool things down. It's still hot in the interior portions of the Pacific Northwest. So if you're east of the, of the Cascade Mountain Range, we're still seeing those temperatures, at least in, without the, in, outside of the rainfall areas, we're still seeing those temperatures about 100, 102 degrees. So it's still hot out there and that heat is starting to move into the eastern area. So we're going to be seeing that heat move into the northern plains as we work our way through the work week. So that is a look at the radar. Here is our watches and hazards right now that we're seeing out there. Here's our excessive heat watches through the Pacific Northwest. See, it's a little bit cooler now here for Portland and Seattle and the Cascades, but east of the Cascades, that heat dome is still in place. So we have that area of high pressure and we're seeing those temperatures in excess of 100 degrees. So we do have an excessive heat watch, a, a heat advisory. We have red flag advisory here and through portions of Montana, we're dealing with our red flag advisory. We got various flat flush, um, watches through portions of the four corners as we have those monsoon thunderstorms in place. So we're also going to be seeing a flood watch. This is a general flood watch through portions of Nevada and into the interior of California. So the lower Sierra Nevadas, the Mojave Desert here, we're seeing those flash flood issues. Now here is some big news that's going into the Central Plains into the Mississippi Valley here and into the upper Midwest. This is mainly for tomorrow. We're going to be seeing that heat here move into this region and we're seeing going to be seeing temperatures approach the triple digits for places like the Twin Cities. 
Minneapolis and St. Paul could be dealing with 100 degrees tomorrow or very close to it. Now through southern Indiana, southern Illinois, we have southern Ohio, portions of eastern Kentucky, West Virginia, and Tennessee where we're dealing with our flooding issues because we've seen, we're seeing a lot of heavy rainfall in this region, so we have flood watches in place in that region. Here we are as we look at those temperatures today, and your temperatures today, we're seeing that hot weather still in the Pacific Northwest, even though we're dealing with some rainfall in some areas, but we're still seeing those temperatures approach the 110 degree mark, especially here along the border with Idaho and Oregon and Washington. So we're seeing very hot weather in this region, triple digits into Montana. And it's kind of funny, just if you look at this region, in a couple of months, they're gonna be talking about snow. So we're dealing with temperatures and the triple digits, but I tell you what, in September, we're going to be talking about snow in the northern Rockies and in the portions of the Pacific Northwest. So even though they have a short, hot season, it can get hot in that part of the nation. And today we're seeing very nice weather across the upper Mississippi Valley. But tomorrow, we're going to see that heat moving to this region. See how it's hot here, 100 degrees, 102, 103 in Kansas, hot in Oklahoma City. Now, the only reason it's a little bit cooler here is because of the rainfall. You take away the clouds and rain, you would be in the triple digits as well. It's a lot drier here, but we would be getting a lot of rainfall in this swath along I-40. The I-40 zone here, we've been seeing consistent rainfall over the last week. And we're still seeing that triple digit heat down here in the state of Texas as well. And we're gonna be seeing uh, comfortable conditions through the Appalachians and into the Northeast as we're seeing those temperatures in the 80s. We're seeing those 90s along the Southeast into the state of Florida and along the Gulf Coast as well. We're seeing those temperatures in the 90s here. But you will have those showers and thunderstorms to continue with from that tropical disturbance along the Gulf Coast today as well. Now here we are as so we look at that rainfall I and mean, here is our uh, 24 hour rainfall analysis and as you can see many regions here through the Appalachians, portions of the mid-Atlantic states here as well as into the Piedmont of the Carolinas and over into the uh, middle and the lower Mississippi Valley where we're seeing rainfall totals in the, about the two inch per hour in the two inch range over the last 24 hours so we're dealing with some heavy rainfall a little bit of heavy rainfall along the coast we're looking about a half inch to an inch of rain at, along the coast over the last 24 hours this is the observed uh, rainfall and we saw a little bit of rainfall about a half inch to an inch through portions of the upper midwest into minnesota and wisconsin we'll be looking at some rainfall over the next 24 hours and here is the rainfall totals from our estimates from our monsoons through portions of California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah. And we're seeing all of that rainfall. So we're seeing a lot of rainfall, but some folks like you people down in Texas really need that rainfall and you just haven't been getting it. But some of you people, some of the rain has been pretty steady over this swath here. And into Missouri. It's a little bit further south today, but this region right in here in this zone has been seeing pretty significant amounts of rainfall over the last well, week or two. At least the last two weeks, the rainfall has been pretty significant. And as we take a look at our three-day weather forecast, here we are for the remainder of this afternoon for your Monday. Here is where we could be seeing our areas dealing with some severe weather today through portions of the Ohio Valley and along the Appalachian Mountain Range here. So to the western side of the Appalachians where we're dealing with that heavy rainfall, it could be seeing more flash flooding through portions of Kentucky, Tennessee, as well as southern Ohio and southern Indiana as well. That heavy rainfall, two to three inches, is going to be possible in this region. A few showers and storms to 
into the Great Lakes area and into portions of the Northeast. Some showers and storms along the, the, mid, the mid Atlantic and into the big cities as well. And more showers down along the Florida and the Gulf Coast. We could be seeing some, a lot of, we're seeing a lot of thunderstorms along the Gulf Coast today. Here is our Four Corners Monsoon Moisture. We're seeing a lot of rain through portions of Nevada, Las Vegas. If you've seen the videos of the flooding down the Las Vegas Strip over the last few days. So a lot of rainfall through the desert southwest, through Southern California as well. We've been seeing those monsoons. Uh, that hot weather continue across the Pacific Northwest and extending into the Northern Plains where we have our red flag advisory through portions of Central Montana. So that is a look at this afternoon's weather forecast. Now for your Tuesday, we're going to be seeing those monsoons again, a little bit less in the way of monsoons. We're not really seeing or expecting any flooding issues here through portions of Nevada and the Four Corners and the Desert Southwest. But we are going to be starting to see that moisture from this guy out here from Tropical Storm Frank, who's going to be a tropical depression by then tomorrow. But it is going to um, spread some moisture into the portions of the Pacific Northwest and into California that could uh, spark some elevated thunderstorms out there and the potential for some severe weather tomorrow through portions of Wisconsin and central Minnesota. So the Twin Cities could certainly see some severe weather if those storms could break through that cap. So this is a big if. They have that warm front that's lifting from the south there, and it's going to spread some of those showers and thunderstorms. But it's also going to bring with it some very hot weather as we're going to see those temperatures approach 100 degrees down in southwestern Minnesota and on down to the south toward the state of Texas again. And more showers and storms along the southeast through the state of Florida as well as on the Gulf Coast and some showers through portions of the New England states, so Maine and into Boston, uh, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and New Hampshire, and far upstate New York, where we could see some of those uh, thunderstorms as well. Now, as we take a look at Wednesday, we're going to be seeing some heavy rain through portions of the lower Great Lakes. So we're talking about uh, the Chicagoland area here through Illinois, Indiana, and southwestern Michigan where we could be seeing some heavy rainfall that could lead to some flooding as well. And we're going to be seeing some showers and storms along this cold front here that's going to be dropping to the south and the east. And this warm front is going to help to start to warm things up in the northeast before those showers and storms with this cold front. So you're going to get a brief warm front as you're in a brief warm up as you're saying sandwich in between this warm front and this cold front there. And we'll see more showers and storms along the Gulf Coast as that tropical moisture off of the Gulf of Mexico and the Southern Atlantic here uh, interacts with the landmass and sparks those afternoon showers and thunderstorms. We'll see a few monsoon storms down here across the southwest as our high pressure kind of changes position here. So it's going to kind of cut off the tap to those monsoons a little bit, but still some moisture will come in, but we'll see a bit less in the way of those monsoon storms as we get into your Wednesday, as our high pressure responsible for pumping that moisture kind of shifts position a little bit and cuts off the tap. And we'll see moisture from our tropical storm out here, or what's left of it, our tropical depression, Frank, will send some moisture into California as well. So you can see maybe a few showers from um, the influence of that tropical system. So that is the three-day weather forecast. Now here's our severe weather outlook for the next three days. And this afternoon, we are dealing with that severe weather through portions of the Ohio Valley as well as the Northern Plains. So as we look at the Northern Plains here, we're going to be dealing with the potential for some gusty winds. So we're going to have some damaging wind and some small hail possible, more damaging wind and hail. And that primary threat in here is going to be very heavy rainfall is going to be expected this afternoon. And tomorrow, we'll see our severe weather threat here along the U.S. and Canadian border 
north through Minnesota and northern Wisconsin, as well as the upper peninsula of Michigan and Lake Superior, where we could be seeing some severe thunderstorms. And your primary threat is going to be some damaging winds as well. And again, this is going to be a big what if if those storms can break through that cap. So then we will see the storms. So some what if or maybe thunderstorms in the northern plains for your Tuesday. And for Wednesday, we'll just have this area right here as our cold front is coming through and can spark some isolated severe thunderstorms. But you will see heavy rain, and that's going to be the primary concern with that weather. So that is a quick look at the three-day severe weather outlook. Now let's talk about the tropics a little bit. Not much to talk about in the Atlantic, but we will deal with we will deal with the guy in the Pacific, and we have Frank which is hanging out right about here, who is a tropical storm and is going to diminish into a tropical depression for a few days. It's going to hang out in the tropical depression range, but it's kind of moving off to the north, northwest a little bit, inching a little bit closer to the California coastline there, and it could spread some showers and storms as it unravels. Some of that moisture can get caught up in that flow and get uh, taken over either into Northern California, I think, or the Pacific Northwest. So here we are as we take a look at the coastline here, and we're seeing these outer bands here of Tropical Storm Frank right here. You're seeing those outer bands as it comes up to the north, and it's going to come right about in here and really kind of move in a little bit closer to that coastline. And as it does so, we're going to start to see some of those outer bands of, those, of that tropical system fan over California and the Pacific Northwest. Some of you folks, I think north of the San Luis Obispo area, Santa Maria, Central California, north, could see a few showers um, as a result of tropical depression, Frank. And the surf is definitely going to increase. So a little bit of surfer's paradise out there of down the coast of California, all right? So that is a look at that. And now let's talk about what we're going to be talking about the rest of Frank here. Now here's where Frank is currently as of 2 p.m. today. Um, Frank is going to remain a tropical storm until 11 p.m. tomorrow. And then it's going to become a tropical depression and move up the California coastline a little bit inch and a little bit north closer to the... Uh, probably, I think it's going to take aim at portions of the far northern California and Oregon where it could end up, but it's going to become an extra tropical system, but it will still have tropical moisture component to it, so we could see some rainfall start to move in to the Pacific Northwest as this guy comes closer to that region. So, um, a little bit of action on the tropics as far as the west coast is concerned. Nothing yet for the eastern, for the Atlantic. My name is Mr. G. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, check this out. So we hit our 200 subscriber mark today. Thank you guys very much for subscribing. Um, what I want to do is probably do a 200 subscriber special that we're going to do as a live. And we'll do a live weather forecast. And we'll talk about the... Uh, give you, let you guys leave some questions or comments. We'll just sit, sit here and shoot the ball for a little bit. Um, but we'll do it after I move because I'm in the process of moving to a new place. And once we move in, to our new place in a couple weeks, we'll do that. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Mr. G. This has been Elite Weather with another Elite Weather Forecast for you guys. Bye-bye. And I will see you tomorrow.